In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we come to a close in our study of the Table of Duties, we see the same overarching theme. Luther closes the Table of Duties with the last part to everyone. He says, love your neighbor as yourself. This is the summary of the second table of the law. It is true for pastors and hearers, government and citizens, husbands and wives, parents and children, as well as workers and employers. We are told to love one another as Christ has loved us, and we are also encouraged to submit to those who have been placed in authority over us. This includes employers and employees. This passage probably makes a lot of us Americans uncomfortable. After all, any time slavery is discussed, we are programmed to think of the antebellum South. However, when Paul is writing to the church in Ephesus, he is writing to a people who have known slavery all their lives. And it had nothing to do with the color of your skin. It was simply a part of everyday life in the time of the New Testament. Though Paul exhorts slaves to obey their masters, he is not condoning slavery. In his letter to the Galatian Christians, he writes, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Paul knows that in Christ all of us are equal because he shed his blood for us. Yet on earth there are authorities that we are, to submit to, and also we may be placed into authority in which we are to lead and care for one another. It is always easy for, it isn't always easy for the employer and the employee. As we have seen with the rest of the table of duty, submission and authority is not easy, and it is always tainted on this side of heaven. Our sinful fallen nature constantly abuses, misuses, and ignores authority. As employees, we have contempt for our employers and are never satisfied with our wages, working conditions, and treatment. As employers, we are constantly failing to show respect and give proper compensation to our employees. We fail to see how God is working through employers and employees to care and provide for us each and every day. After all, all authority on heaven and on earth has been given by God, the Father. When we work and serve as faithful employees, we are working and serving God. When we care for our employees, we are doing so on behalf of God who has seen fit to give us such authority. Our sinful human nature fails to properly deal with authority. If we do not have authority, we despise those who have it. And if we do have it, we constantly want more of it to subdue our neighbors and rule over them. We abuse, misuse, and ignore authority, and we fail to see one another as beloved children of God. We desire our own will and our own pleasure without any care or regard for anyone else, whether they be our employer or employee. We fail to love our neighbor as ourself. But thanks be to God that whether we are employer or employee, we have a master who is in heaven. We have a master who does not treat us with contempt, nor does he only care for himself as we do. We have a heavenly master who loves and cares for us so much that he gave his life for us. As the explanation of the second article of the Creed states that Jesus has purchased and won me from all sins, from death, and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy and precious blood and innocent suffering and death, that I may be his own and live under him in his kingdom and serve him in everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessedness, just as he is risen from the dead, lives and reigns for all eternity. This is most certainly true. We were all slaves to sin, death, and the power of the devil. And yet, as we confess, Christ has purchased us with his holy and precious blood and innocent suffering and death, that we are no longer slaves to sin, death, and the devil, but now we are and will always be slaves to Christ.
Christ, who lives and reigns to all eternity. He is the perfect master for us, who cares for us and provides for us. He gives us jobs so that we are able to care for our families and for others. He loves and cares for us so that we are able to love and care for others. And we are able to endure when we have unjust masters and employers because we know that we are ultimately serving the Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen.